Everyone learns in school about Pythagoras' theorem. In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Pythagoras' theorem has been proved in many different ways over the centuries. We'll look at what's perhaps the simplest method. It just involves rearrangement. We start off with four identical right triangles like this. This gives us one large square and a small square inside it. The area of the large square is four times the area of each of the right triangles plus the area of the smaller square. Since the small square has side C, the area of the big square is the area of the four triangles plus the square of C. If we rearrange the right triangles like this, we get a different shape without changing the area of the big square. We get two small squares with sides A and B inside the big square. Now, the area of the big square equals the area of the four triangles plus the sum of the areas of the small squares. So the area of the large square equals the area of the four triangles plus A squared plus B squared. We found two different formulas for the area of the big square. Putting these equal to one another, the areas of the four triangles cancels and we're left with c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And there we have it. In a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides.